Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to export a video that you've been editing in iMovie so that you can share it with your friends and family on Facebook or YouTube or wherever. So this tutorial is for anybody that's totally brand new to editing videos on your Mac with iMovie. And before I get into it all, I want you to know about a little bit of a, well, it's kind of a cheat sheet. It's a completely free download and you can hit the link in the description below this video or when you're done watching, you can head over to vidpromom.com slash iMovie guide. Okay, let's hop onto my Mac and we'll get going here. Okay, so exporting an iMovie should be pretty straightforward, but there are quite a few different um, settings that I want to talk to you about. So once you have a movie all edited and you're happy with it and you're ready to get it out there and share it with the world, what you're gonna have to do is come over here. Let me make my window a little smaller. You're gonna wanna come over here to this button in the top right of your screen. And if you hit that, this is the share button. If you hit that, it's gonna give you a bunch of options here. And to be perfectly honest, don't do any of these except for this one right here, file. So we wanna export our iMovie video, the, the video that we edited, um, into a file so that we can then do whatever we want with it. Um, lots of people have had problems trying to share directly to YouTube or Facebook or all those other places. So I think the best option is to just save it to a file where you know where you can find it. So you can save it to your desktop um, and then kind of do what you want with it there. And you can put you can put a backup on your external hard drive or you can just upload it to Facebook or YouTube and then delete it. You can do whatever you want with it, but once you export it to a file, then you have the option to do exactly that, which is whatever you want with it. So um, you can set your title, um, you can set a description if you want. You don't really have to worry about these things that much, but you do want to make sure that you have your format set to video and audio, not just audio only. And then um, I'm going to leave my resolution at 1080p because that is the resolution that the original video was shot in. If I wanted to save space, I could bring it down to 720. That would make a smaller file size and the quality would be a little bit less. Um, it also would take a lot less time to upload to Facebook or YouTube, but I'm going to leave mine at 1080p. So you may not have that option if you shot a video on your iPhone or something and, you know, maybe 720 is the highest that it shoots, then you probably wouldn't have this 1080 option. But you want to stick usually to the highest option that you have. And for quality, you have a few different options here. And I just want to show you, if you choose high, right over here, this shows you what your estimated file size is going to be. So it's 743 megabytes not bad. If you choose best, you're up to 543 gigabytes, which is a lot for a video that is almost only five minutes long. And when you choose the high quality, your video is going to save as a .mp4 file. And when you choose the best quality, it's going to save as a .mov file, which may not make any difference to you, but I just want to throw that out there. Um, so I actually exported this video in both so that I can show you the difference. So on the right hand side over here, this is the best export. This is the five gigabyte export. And on the left hand side, this is the high export. That's the one that was like a little less than 800 K. So you can see here, um, that half the screen is the best and the other half the screen is just the high. So when comparing these two, I mean, it's not like one is that much better than the other. I can't tell. I have no idea. So um, I don't, for me personally, for home movies, family videos, and, you know, fun stuff like that, if you're not trying to, you know, produce a, um, a blockbuster hit, I recommend just going with that high setting. It's going to have a really great quality. It's not going to look bad at all, but your file size is going to be way more manageable. And then for compression, I'm just going to choose better quality. And then if I hit next, it's going to ask me where I want to save it to. And um, I'm going to save it right to my desktop and hit save. 
and you can see it kind of come up here and this little circle icon is gonna look a little bit like a little bit of a clock and it actually gives me a an estimated time how long it's gonna take to save the video um, so you can see how the little it's like a little piece of a pie it comes around and when it makes full circle Then it will tell you that it has been fully exported if this video was helpful for you Then please give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that and Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on iMovie and using your video editing and cameras and stuff Thanks for watching. Bye. When did that computer turn on? Did it do that all by itself? <laughs>